Welcome back everybody. In this video, I want to show you how you can easily install ROMs to the RG300. Let's get started. Before we start, if you enjoy tutorials, video essays, lore, discussions, theories about video games, plus the occasional unboxing and review, be sure to subscribe to my channel for a plethora of gaming related content. One of the good things about the RG300 is you can connect it to your PC for file transfers or to add applications or anything like that. So what you need to do is with the included USB-C cable that came with your RG300, connect one end into the unit and the other end into the computer. Then once that's done, you will get a prompt that says, do you want to charge the device or would you like to use it for storage? You'll want to hit storage. Once your computer recognizes it, some windows will pop up depending on what you have installed. If you have a micro SD card installed, an extra window will pop up. But if not, then one window will pop up. The main window will be labeled as retro and then whatever drive letter it is. And this window is where you can see all of your uh, emulators and where all your apps go and that's where you can deal with that. And at the bottom there is a folder for ROMs. So if you wanted to, this is the SD card that actually houses the firmware and the software that's behind the battery. So if you wanted to, you could just open your ROMs folder and then move your files there. But I have an extra micro SD card that I'm going to use for all my games. So if you want to install your ROMs on the extra SD card, you'll open up the second window and it will be a USB drive and then another drive letter. So in that window, all you need to do is find the ROMs that you want to transfer over and then in the root of the SD card, make a folder that says ROMs. Once you do that, you can drag over all the systems you want and it's just drag and drop essentially. And then once that's done, all your ROMs will be on your micro SD card. So we'll let this go real quick and I'll speed this up so you all don't have to watch all this. Once this is done, I will show you how to find your ROMs on your unit. All right, so back on the unit itself here, you need to pick the emulator you want to use and then if you have your ROMs installed on the SD card that houses the firmware you'll just scroll down to the bottom into the ROMs folder and there will be your ROMs but I myself like I said put mine on another SD card so I'll show you how to do that you need to back out of this by hitting the X button which is the folder up button or you can just hit the home button it doesn't matter pick the emulator you want to use once you do that, you'll see three dots at the top of the file selection. You'll want to hit those three dots. Then you need to hit the three dots again. And then you'll see the media icon. Go down and select that. Then you need to select that random string of letters, which it could be different for everybody else. You'll see your ROMs folder. Then from there, you just select the ROM you want to play. It's as simple as that. So that's pretty much it. This is a kind of a quick video, but it's a real simple method on how you can install pretty much as many games as you want on your SD card. I think in this video we installed somewhere close to 4,000 games. They're mostly Super Nintendo games because that was the complete ROM set that I have. So that's why there were so many games. But that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's very simple, it's easy to do, and you can be off and running. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you didn't, that other button seems to work pretty well too. If you enjoy tutorials, video essays, lore, discussion, and theories about video games, plus the occasional unboxing and review, be sure to subscribe to my channel for a plethora of gaming related content. Thanks for watching.